just be, be out with, with us to Alaska. This is our Alaska Land to Sea series and the reason why Land to Sea is because we're exploring Alaska by staying in Anchorage. We stayed here for five days but today we are taking the bus to the cruise ship. There are two options where ships sail from out of Alaska or to Alaska. One is Witter, which is located about an hour and 15 minutes from Anchorage. And another one is Seward, which is where we will be departing from. Just keep in mind, if you're taking a one-way cruise from or to Alaska, you have to fly in or out into Anchorage. This is where you will be heading either to Witter or Seward and there are actually two options uh, how to get to and from Witter and, and um, Anchorage or Seward to Anchorage and vice versa. One you can take the Alaskan Railroad. We booked the shuttle bus directly from the cruise line and it departs from downtown Anchorage and goes directly to Seward and I'm assuming we will be really close to the port or it should bring us directly to the port and the bus ride goes anywhere from 65 to 80 dollars per person if you're new to our channel my name is Irina and I'm Devon and we are just, just be out. out we left Hawaii to start our three-year full-time world travel journey creating informative travel videos for you so you get the most out of your vacation just, just be, be out, out with us, us. Keep in mind, if you book your transportation through your cruise line, you don't have to go to any bus stop or a train station. You have to check in at the convention center first and you they will check all your documents. You can check in your luggage. You can even leave your um, carry-on bags with them and then go grab coffee and wait for your bus or the train. The convention center check-in area opens at 8 a.m. So if you're checking out, earlier from your airbnb or from your hotel you can just come here and wait for your transportation to be ready we just arrived to our check-in area for royal caribbean here we had to present our passports vaccination cards negative covid tests and canada arrival qr codes here we can also check in our bags they pre-screen uh, all passengers to make sure you have all your documents before they send you three hours away here is a pro tip for you. If you're heading from Anchorage to Seward or to Witter, be sure to sit on the right hand side of the bus for better views. I've been in your waters, been knocking at your door. to go through check-in and security that was awesome and now we're heading to the ship we are starving as soon as we drop off our bags we head straight to the buffet So we just walked out of the cruise ship and now we're making our way into town. It was drizzling before, so we thought we weren't gonna be able to make it. I was gonna say the sky cleared, but it didn't. It's still overcast, it's gray. And it's still drizzling. But it's drizzling really slightly. So we figure now's a perfect opportunity to run out, get out, see what it's about over here. And we'll let you know once we get into the town. It's about a 10 minute walk from the ship to the town. The town is really small, but what's cool about sailing out of Seward is that uh, the all on board time is at 7.30 p.m. So if you just coming into Seward, you still can check in and have plenty of time to explore the town. You're not going to have time to do any excursions though. That's what this town is primarily known for. 
different excursions, glacier, hikes, boat activities. But it is still cool to walk around. It seems this town is centered around fishing. From the cruise, you can see all the fishing boats going in and out. Alongside, you see all the crab traps, all the different things that used to catch fishes out here. It's really, really, really cool. And with the mountains in the backdrop, the low clouds, really awesome. Right at the entrance of the cruise port, right behind me, you see these trains and you would think that is the train that comes here from Anchorage, but it's not. It is actually a bike repair shop and what seems to be a cafe, which is really cool. So they use the actual trains that uh, you would be taking and I guess they're um, re-renovated into um, a coffee shop and a bike repair store, which is really cool. This is the actual train, Alaska Railroad, that you can take from Anchorage to come to Seward. It's actually, this train actually comes to different parts of Alaska. It goes to Denali and makes other stops as well. And to come here specifically, the basic fare is 125 US dollars. But they also have a, a VIP section where the rooftop is all glass, so you have better viewing. It is much more expensive, but it also comes with lunch. It is an experience to come on this train. So if you come to Alaska and going straight to the cruise, we highly recommend you to take the, this train because the ride is scenic. It goes all along the coastal line and the views are spectacular. If you're interested in traveling in Alaska by train, I will leave the direct link below where you can purchase the train tickets. Wow, this is so cool. This is Seward's main dock we saw so many fishermen boats coming in and now you can see all the fishermen coming here with their catch they are weighing the catch if they catch something big they have hooks there for so they can put their fish on display and take pictures with them and also here is where they cut and fillet all their uh, catch and that's why in this area you can see sea otters and even seals coming to try to get all those leftover fish skeletons. When we arrived to Seward and got off the bus, immediately you can smell the fish scents in the air. Fresh fish scents, of course, the ocean salt and fish scents all mixed together. And we arrived not directly to this dock, we arrived a little bit further to the cruise ship port, but it's amazing how you can still smell it. Seward is known for their murals. There are over 30 murals uh, all over the town and they all represent the history of Alaska. So this one, for example, uh, caught in Seward fishing, we passed uh, another huge one of the wall size with two beautiful puffins and there is actually a map that shows you where all the murals are so you can follow the map and see them all if you like we will leave the link in the description below Seward did not disappoint not at all it's absolutely beautiful here even though it's chilly it's overcast it's gray Drizzly. Normally, yeah it's just like the weather's not cooperating at all but regardless it's beautiful here. The mood vibes are really nice. The town itself doesn't have much to do, but in a couple of hours, it was actually really fascinating to look at all the fishermen bringing their fresh catch and so much fish. Yeah, oh my they God. caught so much fish and massive fishes as well. And the way they fillet them, these guys are masters with the knives. So usually when people come to Seward for a couple of days, what they do, they go to Exit Glacier, Harding Glacier, there are lots of different hikes. All the boats that you see behind us, there are a lot of tour boats as well and they go uh, whale watching, glacier watching and they have so many different options. And if you are into fishing while well, you are in paradise, there are lots of private charters that you can take specifically for fishing. In this area, there are restaurants, bars, 
hotels. You get it all in this one area. And of course, a lot of places where you could purchase the tickets to go on the tours that Irina has mentioned. But anyway, we don't wanna to get too far into this. There's a lot more to unpack here in Alaska. We need to get back on the ship before it leaves. I'm also hungry looking at all this fresh caught fish out here, which is what I probably think I'm gonna have for dinner. Unless of course the menu changes my mind. But this begins our Alaska by sea videos. Let's go. It is officially dinner time. <laughs> Starving. And tonight for dinner we have company. Yes. Me, Valerie and Dale. Hi guys. <laughs> the menu looks great. And this is the thing with Royal Caribbean. We've sailed them before and we love their menu. Unlike other cruise ships we've been on before, we were excited before we even boarded. So let's see what this food looks like. So I'm having the wild mushroom soup. And of course it tastes great. I usually have this when I sail with Royal Caribbean. I absolutely love it. And I also have the escargot. Can't go wrong with that, you know me. Whenever I'm sailing, I have to have my escargot. Top notch. This is Maryland crab cake. For our entree, we both ordered the battered seafood with shrimp, scallops, and fish, and a side of potatoes. So after trying the battered fish, uh, the shrimp, and the scallop, I really didn't enjoy it much. Number one, it was a little bit on the salty side, and the fish, the batter of the fish, it wasn't crispy at all. It was kind of really soggy, and the fish was dense. Now I'm going to try the um, salmon that Dale had, and he said it, the salmon was a little dry, so I'm just thinking maybe they overcooked it a little bit. That's fine, so I'm gonna try it as well, and hopefully I have better luck and I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like so mine wasn't as dry as Dale's um, but it's okay so you would think that being in Alaska you'd probably be having Alaska wild salmon but not really so we spoke to one of the waiters and that was the question I asked I thought I was gonna be having wild salmon from Alaska it turns out that it's not. It's farm raised salmon. So just something to keep in mind. I ordered the creme brulee and it is spot on. The sugary coating on top melted into this crystallized sugar. It is so good. And of course the cream that's on the inside. This is really good. I'm enjoying this. I ordered a warm hazelnut chocolate cake. It comes with syrup on top and I also ordered a side of vanilla ice cream. It does not really uh, have a hazelnut flavor, but it does have small chunks of hazelnut in there. It's pretty dense. It's not my favorite thing, but it's not bad. Overall, the dinner was a little bit disappointing tonight. We expected a little bit more of a higher quality. I really didn't enjoy her crab cake. Uh, for me, appetizers was great. The entree, that's where it all fell apart for me, even though I ordered the salmon, the salmon was just okay. And now we're in dessert. My dessert, I'm liking it. And for me, pretty much all the dishes were mediocre. Overall, we had a great day. Awesome boarding today. Easy. Really fast. And great time in Seward. And now we are sailing out to sea. It is very foggy out. You can barely make out all the mountains that we're seeing and we're heading out to sea. So we're gonna close this one out, but keep in mind, we will be creating so many videos while we are on this cruise. We have lots to do. We're planned a lot. Ship tour. Pros, pros and cons. cons. And all the stops on this sailing and if you've missed our Alaska land journey we leave the links in the description below we thank you so much for watching and as usual just be out with us, with us.